recording another video. It's 5.51, July 9th, Friday. Cooking up some burgers. That's my mini burger. That's what I limit myself to. That's a tiny one. And then the big one, I'm cooking those for Randy. I've got my water buckets I refill here. And I put the laundry in here. He's going to empty the laundry when he gets home. And I have my homemade curtains here. Isn't that pretty? And my decorations in the bathroom. Of course, it's a little messy, but... Here's where I sit when I cook in the chair. And there's our movies and his, his bed. He sleeps here in the kitchen, the dining room. There's my office area, but one of my briefcases are missing. There's his new recliner. And here's our shelves. This is my donations. I'm gonna be donating stuff. And those are my laundry. I'm gonna be putting that in the resale shop. And this is for the resale right here, uh, for the resale shop. I'm gonna be making that and also giving so much of it away for free. I've been doing tons and tons of laundry. I must have spent a few hundred dollars. Now the bedroom's really messy, so, but uh, we've used those chairs from the uh, van I'm buying. We're converting it to an RV and putting a bed in the back and an air conditioner and a generator. And these are my lockable containers that keep this stuff in. It's kind of messy in here, like I said, but I made this homemade out of a blanket curtains. I love arts and crafts, like I hung that up. And um, I'm cleaning it up, but it gets kind of messy when I'm doing my project. And out here is the garden. You'll see I got um, our neighbor's cats come over here. They're very friendly. I planted that, and she's really growing. I got peppermint, spearmint, different mints. Got collard greens, Brussels sprouts, beans, peppers, um, uh, pineapple this is a pineapple plant right here but my last few have rotted you can see how those leaves are starting to rot and then I have beets and I have uh, cantaloupe pumpkins cucumbers planted I've got my poppy flowers I've got my tamatillo plants doing really well you see that one I transplanted her and those are maggots I laid eggs out here but they pretty good for the soil. Sometimes I flush them or throw them away because I put cat food out here in tuna. Sometimes I treat them with tuna and the flies get out here. But these are my other ones I just planted. I also have avocado trees planted. Turnip greens. And pretty much it's doing pretty good. The garden's doing a lot better. I like to do my hair different. I put a tin on it yesterday. It was blonde. Reddish blonde. So, but there's my froggy. I like the froggy. And there's a spider that comes out here and he's up in this corner. She is, and I don't see her out there during the day, so she must go into hiding. She's like a vampire, you know, sucks the blood out of her bugs when I'm going back in. But yeah, that's my garden. Isn't that really pretty? I got a lot of those. And I'm gonna be selling some of those in my resale shop and then what grows, I'm gonna sell some of the produce at the farmer's market next year. We hope to have a land of our own and a house. We have a garden and farm. And, and uh, if not, we're hoping we can do this at Eric's. I've planted quite a bit at Eric's. We've bought like pumpkins. I'm gonna sit down in my chair. See, this is where I sit when I cook sometimes. I sit here and we've got to clean up. We've got all this produce down here too, all that food and CDs. We're gonna put um, a lot of those DVDs and books. We're gonna put those in the resale shop too for the nonprofit. So we're gonna have a website soon that, um, you can go to and donate but I'm trying to keep it separate my art websites I'm gonna try to keep separate from yeah you can see my hand dies I decided I am gonna try to that tanning stuff because I'm gonna give it the dark look a try you know tanning and dark and I like to go back and forth I go from dark to light and light the dark but my hair is naturally gold guard me pot of gold like a leprechaun and Irish, the garden, the garden, the pot of gold, cotch, cotton, like Choctaw, cotton, you go, do you cotton, you go, you cotton, a lot of a con, Choctaw, cotton, me a leprechaun, cotton, a lot of a con, and go, the leprechaun gold. I got me a pot of gold, I got me a lot of gold, I got me a little leprechaun, a leprechaun in a pot of gold, he said. That's a pot of gold, dude. I got me a pot of gold. But I'm on birth control right now, and I'm not having sex, I think, about it sometimes. But 
Uh, anyways, I need lots of donations for my Botox, for my plastic surgery. You can see how I've aged something terribly. I've been with my friend, and he's got schizophrenia. He's the one who helped me. I'm going to get the nonprofits going in businesses. But he's sometimes goes without his medicine and gets to drinking. And I have a few drinks myself a few times a week, and so does he. But sometimes he drinks a little too much. I only have one or two drinks if I drink. No more than four, but usually I only have one or two at the most. Sometimes I only even have half a drink at that. And I will go ahead and usually take my medicine. If I only have half a drink or one drink too, I will take my medicine because it helps me. And I'll go to bed, or if I don't take it then, I take it immediately the next morning. But Randy will go for a few days if, without taking it sometimes, and then he has episodes, schizophrenic, and even then he still has it. So I talked to Creoaks about getting his medicine changed. He's going to start going to Creoaks Mental Health. So I'm hoping they can get his medicine changed. He, he's taken a Bilify before, and that seems to help, and that's one of the medicines I take is a Bilify. And it helps me quite a bit. And, uh, of course, you know, I've heard voices too, and I understand it could be irritable at times. But he can be so abusive, and his abuse has aged me so much. I've been with him for 12 years as a friend, and he does have episodes and cycles, as a lot of abusers do, but he's also schizophrenic. So I'm not, like, saying an excuse for him, but sometimes he doesn't even realize it's him that was abusing. He, like, snaps to another personality. And I think this nonprofit businesses will be real good for him, along with, you know, working. I'm hoping to get him. Uh, I need to finish flipping this. And anyway, so um, we want to start doing our reality shows and get money to put up equipment for our reality shows. Plus, if anybody is abusing me, then you guys can rat on them if you pay to watch my reality shows. So that's what I'm hoping to do to get me my own place or get a place that's big. Because usually when we have a large home, it's not so bad, you know, uh, having multiple rooms and stuff. So I think I might cut up some taters where we make onion rings. I might let him make onion rings. Some taters. We have taught quite a bit down there. I need to plant some of those. I like to plant them. But, um, anyways, how do you like the Kool-Aid, man? I like the Kool-Aid lady. Look at that. Anyways, so yeah, if you guys can send donations, I do need all the donations and gifts I can get to get this reality show going. And we want to have limo rides available if anybody wants to take a limo ride with me. I'm going to do that at least two, three times a month, maybe four times, you know, at least once a week if I can. And then we're going to do the resale shop at least once a week. Open it up, run it once a week, and distribute the foods we're hoping once a week as well. Um, at the very most, once a month. But we're hoping to get quite a bit of funding, get it going soon. And I know we've been putting it off, putting it off. But I did try to register it yesterday, but it's saying application... Um, safe so I didn't get done with it I'm not sure what happened I didn't attempt to go back in today because I was at the workforce trying to do that a workforce because I've got to be someplace to print it and I've had like four different printers I'm gonna sit in this chair a neighbor was throwing this out and I got it I sprayed it down with bleach and I covered it with this blanket and I said dear god I hope he didn't have bed bugs I don't think he had bed bugs he looks very clean I met him his name's Bobby he's our he's our neighbor well, my friend's neighbor uh, this is I'm just visiting here but I have given him hundreds and hundreds of dollars to be able to visit and stay and I'm paying on his RV I gave him $600 last month to give him 300 this month for the RV that I'm com I mean it's a van being converted to an RV and I'm buying it so and then I'm gonna help him get another vehicle hopefully get him into lawn care business like a truck or a uh, taxi business or both and I'm hoping to do the lawn profit and the lawn uh, laundry. The laundry is something I'm just going to do for a select few many unless I get volunteers to help. That's to help elderly disabled mostly disabled and elderly people that can't do their own laundry on pass out flyers and you know do it really cheap for them and you know I'd probably only make a few bucks if it's local here a few bucks here and there but I also want to get donations from the churches and other people for me to help to do these things for people also for you know military wives and families who've lost their husbands in war and left with children uh, we want to do a pick up and drop off service or they can drop off to me which is fine too and I, I like doing laundry um, I prefer hangers and folding but you know, if anything, I can at least wash and dry for them. Now, ironing, I don't really know much about ironing, so. But I'm getting hot, hot and tired. And I think I'll turn off the stove and take a nap. But 
again, this is Christina Lynn Young, Christina Lynn Hodge. You go by both names, and I just want to say hello. And we're still hoping to get our nonprofit started. We're debating if it's going to be called Princess Hodge Foundation because since foster mom Ashley Nicole Campbell got a protective order against me, that's kind of making me wonder should I put it in Princess Hodge's name because I might not even get to see her. So why would I want to run uh, a foundation in her name? I thought about my other baby, I and Malachi. Uh, Bell's Iron Malachi Bell's Foundation Iron Malachi Fund putting it in his name and then that way it's going to be in my friend's name register like the name of the business and if anything happened to my friend you know we want to have a DB shelters too so many within so many years and then if something was to happen God forbid if he dies or you know decides he doesn't want it we can leave it for him the boy just turned 18 so and he's look at that muscle man that's some big muscle you see that I got fat on there too, but look, that's muscle. Look at that, that's muscle. Looks like those military wife. That's muscle too. A lot of it's fat, it jiggles, but that's muscle. That's muscle. That's muscle. But anyway, so, you know, I thought about that, or we could. The Randy Hamilton Fund, the Randy Hamilton Foundation. Now, that's the one I applied for. I, I started doing the application for the Randy Hamilton Fund, Randy Hamilton. Um, Foundation, one of the, I think, foundation, because, ooh, I'm feeling hot. Uh, because he's going to be the one, I hope, to apply for scholarships and grants. And like the DV, you might be able to get $50,000. I said at least 10000 for a domestic violence. We wanted to do the world's first domestic, men's domestic violence shelter, but all the money fundings and women. So we might have to start with the women. But anyways, I'm tired. I need a rest. So, God said on the seventh day, let him rest, let him rest. But soon I'll have my P.O. box. It's just that I lost my ID, and Oklahoma won't give me another one until 2025. And I have to have an ID to get a P.O. box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Randy use his lease. <laughs> Go down to a P.O. box and get a P.O. box in his name, probably. And then... And then I'm gonna pay for it, and then I'll give you guys the PO box. I'm gonna keep the key though, so you guys can send me gifts, like gift cards, McDonald's, Arby's, you know, invites. You guys want to invite me to dinner, to a movie? I do have anxiety quite a bit. It's part of my disability, but I do medicine helps me quite a bit. I used to take Valium sometimes and stand up. I had a panic attack so bad that I used to pass out. I'd get scared being by myself, and I'm what you call enabled. My husband, my first husband, I was enabled to him. He would go out with me, and when he would leave me alone in my home, I'd get so scared to have a panic attack, almost pass out sometimes, blackout. And I've had seizures. Well, it turns out that they think that could be my blood sugar because I'm hypoglycemic, and I could be having shakes, and it creates anxiety and fear because of my blood sugar and I've told foster mom you know we have fa sugar trouble in our family not to give her so much sugar I was raised on a lot of sugar too honey and it's not that I'm not happy for her getting cookies and stuff because grandma was a cool lady that woman who raised me she would pour like just a perfect amount of sugar and just a little bit extra and it was so good and my brother's friends would come drink her kool-aid pictures of kool-aid and they called her the kool-aid lady and we had cookies, you know, but we also ate very good. You know, we, the sweets was not all the time except for the Kool-Aid. We had Kool-Aid and tea, which I loved, and milk. But she was a very clean lady, Aletha May. Young. A very clean lady, Aletha May Brammer Lewis Young. She raised me, and she was a very clean lady, a good cook, a good gardener, very intelligent, smart. I loved her very much, and I didn't realize that until it was too late. Till the day I found out she had passed away for over a month. I had to call the police department. I was in Kansas, and she was in Oklahoma. And I wanted to go back to Arkansas with her, where her family is. And I wanted to beg her to go back. And I was asking Nakona, my cousin Nakona Lewis. I was asking her daddy, Daryl Lewis, to help us. And I think he went and visited her, and she went up there without me to Arkansas. He talked her into it, or someone did. And that hurt me. She didn't invite me. Well, I gotta get to a dentist. Got another bad tooth or two. I had some removed. Anyways, but 
I went to call her, and the first time I was going to call her mom, because she fostered me when my birth mother died. And I went to call her mom, and it was too late. There was no answer. She usually screened her calls, and the answer didn't come on. But I called the police department and said, can you guys do a welfare check? And I answered the phone. I said, no answer. And uh, usually she'd leave her porch light on if she'd leave town, you know. It wasn't very, rarely she'd go to Arkansas if there's a funeral, family reunion. You know, sometimes we go to family reunions. And so we go down to my papa's house. And I went down to papa's house. Sure enough, she'd been dead for over a month. And I said, oh, well, I was going to call her mom. It hit me for the first time that day. I was going to call her mom. And that was about November of 2017. And I said, that's my mom. That's my mama. I was going to give her a call. But now I can't say she's my mom because I never really got to have that love with her. But I wanted it. And every time I'd go see her, she said Debbie was with her. Debbie was taking care of her. And that hurt me, Gabby. Debbie Cooter, Debbie Springer is my, my cousin. And I don't want nothing to do with them because they hurt me tremendously. But anyway, so yeah, if the family wants to donate. Uh, sorry, my inside of a lip stitching. I do it sometimes. I used to dip. My mouth's still healing over that. I used to dip when I was pregnant. And I quit dipping. So I quit dipping when I was pregnant. And I've healed quite a bit. And I was smoking, so I quit smoking. But, um, Randy, he's still dipping, but he's one that got me to dip it, and I quit dipping. Anyway, pick it up. I'm gonna go put some flowers on the grave. She's a memorial graveyard. If y'all want to go put flowers out for me, and teddy bears, and donations, and gifts, I like to do things like that. Aww. I'm sorry.